Recently, Bwipo revealed in a co-stream with Dom that during Vitality scrimming, they ganked top lane so much so as Rage smashed his fish, he fractured his hand, there's stories like that that are as weird as in other games. So it's not asking about this. Let me just address that quickly, though. I'm not going to go into a big thing. I'm going to very briefly say, as someone who has done the most good interviews in the history of this fucking field and talked to a billion players behind the scenes, one of the most frustrating things about pro players is they have terrible memories. Terrible. And they're mega biased. So even if they're telling the truth, it really is on some postmodern your truth shit. Where, guess what? Adam's truth isn't the same as Upset's truth. And Bwipo's truth isn't the same as Soaz's truth. Isn't the same as Youngbook's truth. Isn't the same as Reckless's truth. So the other problem is people take quotes like that, Monty, and they take it as though it was like primary evidence that's circumstantial evidence. That's like some shit that will be thrown out in court as hearsay. Like, we don't know that. Like, and they're thinking of shit from years ago. I know in your brain it feels like season eight was that, mate. Season eight was five years ago. You can't expect people to play a billion scrims and remember every story. Like, they're going to, over time, stories. I don't know if you've even heard this. People say that when you remember, part of why details changes, you almost like, you don't really remember. Your, your brain sort of plays the thing back for you and changes details as it goes. So even your memory changes over time. So, yeah, whatever. He means, is there a crazy story like that in any other esport or something, right? Yeah, exactly. There's a million. There's a, like, for yeah. example, we revealed it on the crackdown. Jezus came on the crackdown. You can go look at the episode. In season um, seven, when Jezus was on Fnatic with Reckless and Caps and Soaz, think of these names. Reckless used to have play from his own room and refused to be with the other four players because he thought they were too bad for him to play in the same room as him. That is wiling, homie. That's way worse than Soaz getting ganked and hitting the table. Like, that's crazy, yeah, that's mate. Unlucky. That's one of the biggest diva things I've ever heard of. Remember, I'm not talking about he was with bombs, Monty. Soaz and Caps are in that room. Like, brother, well, you can't be fucking doing this. Also... I mean, Config very recently in Counter Strike got in that fight, like broke his leg, which was much more public than this. Like, oh, I've got a punchline for you. You want to hurt this because you're from League of Legends. Oh, are you ready? Richard revealed this, but if you know the people we know in the scene, in Counter Strike, behind the scenes, people talk. We just don't tell the stories unless you're a dickhead. So sorry, Config, you earned this because you claimed you've changed. Not. Are you ready for the punchline, Monty? Even though he was so injured in that scenario, he couldn't even leave Malta at the time. He was told by like, the surgeon, do not fly, like, wait. He had to just stay on his own, sort of in his own misery. He even said he would cry all night, even to sleep would be painful. He got kicked from his team. He thought, I might have my whole career over. So he went back to Malta for the next Pro League season. Straight to the same club where he got kicked in the face, Massive pints of beer walking around. That's fucking esports for you. That is esports. <laughs> they don't <laughs> learn, mate. They just say sorry. They don't learn. <laughs> Isn't that just boo? Give one off at least. At least wait for like EPL 18 or something. Twat. <laughs> See more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content. Well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.